welcome back to yet another episode of Ladder Up, where it's been so long since I've recorded, I forgot that I actually have to move my microphone to a place where I can use it and not knock over my phone. So you'll see a team on the screen as I uh, stall for time. There's a Lycan Rock. There is a Tyranitar. So you got that, you know, in case you don't know that this version of Lycan Rock, which I think it's Lycan Rock day form i don't remember it's it, it, it has sand rush so real fast uh we got a tapu lele with uh Psyking z it also has ally switch so there's some fun times there mega metagross which really needs no introduction uh this one does have zen headbutt so that's something it's, it's got zen headbutt iron head and stomping tantrum so no ice coverage but uh you know the, just the psychic train zen headbutt's real nice and then uh, Milotic to help deter Intimidators, because most of the time, 95% of the time, I'm just going to lead Lycanroc Tyranitar, and then deal with whatever happens after that point. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Choice Scarf Blacephalon, which I haven't used Blacephalon since the very beginning of the season, and I'm very excited to use it. Uh, it's something that's faster than Mega Gengar and can one-hit KO it. It can, it's faster than Choice Scarf Lanners and can one-hit KO it. It's, uh, you know, faster than Kartana and can one-hit KO it. Uh, Lycanroc also has Fire Fang, so that, but that doesn't always KO. So, you know, that, this is some, some stuff we can do. Anyways, I'm going to get into it. As I also set up my pop filter in the correct place. Not that anyone probably cares or notices, but, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit professional. Uh, oh, 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 okay, not working, not, uh, dip, 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 dip. Uh, you know what, close enough, alright, here we go, wow, we're 15, 15, 1, man, we suck, uh, I also, <laughs> I hope we are able to find someone, uh, it's been really hard recently, actually, to even just find people on Battle Spot, like, no one's playing, it's crazy, I, I think, like, I think it's like 16, 50 is like top, 20 in 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 america that that should tell you that there's no one playing but right now so in the meantime i'm going to show you i got some uh in an effort to do some uh pokemon related crafting i wanted to get some small like half inch uh pokemon figures uh, i tried to buy them in bulk hoping that you know and I, I i've been burnt before with these where i i got some they're obviously like cheaply produced in china and i and, and they were bad so i was like this time I'm gonna spend a little bit more. Not near, probably not get as many, but hopefully they'll be nice quality. And I found what from the pictures and the reviews appeared to be really nice quality ones. And uh, that's not what I got in uh, reality. So I'll, sh I'll show you some once we get uh, here in the battle. Blank here as I'm drawing one. Uh, okay, Charizard, Tapu Koko, Landorus, Cresselia, Celestia, and Moogus. So this is gonna be really annoying. I can already tell this one's going to be really annoying. But I said before, I'm going to go with Lycanroc Tyranitar. Uh, uh, just out of, you know, things. I'll bring the Blacephalon because it's actually going to be really nice against uh, the uh, uh, Celesteela and uh, Amoongus. It can uh, one-hit KO both of them. The question is, who else do I bring? Uh, that That's really what I'm worried about. Uh, there's a case... There's a case for Lele. There is, because I would have switching potential to, um, you know, get rid of the electric terrain, Rococo. Metagross might just be better, honestly, because Zen Headbutt's going to be really nice, I think. And again, actually, it's not very nice, because it has to deal with Charizard, it has to deal with Coco, it has to deal with Landorus. Can't do much to Celesteela. It can Oko Amoongus, but that's it. So in that case... I think Lele is actually better because it can do the same thing. It can do the same thing. All right, so let me show you some of these figures. And you tell me, some of them are terrible. Like, for instance, not, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, not good, but not bad, okay? That's clearly a Pikachu, right? Clearly a Pikachu. Okay, not good, not bad. Clearly a mill tank. A little, little dippy in the face, but clearly a mill tank. Um, you tell me what Pokemon you think this is, okay? What the frig is this thing? 
Five seconds to guess. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is because I thought about it a lot. I figure it's supposed to be Mega Blaziken. It's not. It's it's not. It's not that. Alright, so. What do we do? We rock slide. That's why we are here. Rock slide, rock slide. Always, always rock slide. Top boo, lately. Always gonna rock slide. Mega, Me Mega Volume Charizard will be bad. Um, so I'm gonna bring in the Lele. Ooh, withdraw that Coco. What you bringing in, boy? Celestila? Shh, I ain't worried about that. I'm a little worried about that. I'm actually kind of really worried about that. Oh, it's Electric C2. That is just the worst. So actually here, a uh, Blacephalon switch would have been nice, but I was not expecting Coco to switch out. I was expecting Coco to protect and for Charizard to Mega Evolve and uh, protect. Just to like scout out. But this is not terrible. Okay, Charizard probably protecting here. Uh, and then it's probably going to switch out next turn. So I got to do something about Celesteela in the meantime. Okay, let's see how much this Rock Slide does. So we know three of the Pokemon, though, so that's good. We do have Fire Fang, but that's not really going to do that much. You know what I'm saying? Alright. But we do, have, we do have plays. Because if Charizard wants to attack here, it's going to take a Rock Slide. I can bring in Blacephalon. And a Heavy Slam should... I don't think it'll knock out Blacephalon. Um, let's draw Charizard. Okay, and probably into Coco, right? Amoongus. Oh, this will be... This would be really nice. As long as our Lele does not get knocked, or our Blacephalon does not get knocked out, which I hope it doesn't. Because if so, we're in a really nice position. Or if it doesn't, we're in a really nice position. We always have flinch chances too, so there's that. That's actually pretty decent damage. Heavy slam into the Lele. Okay. We live that. Alright, good, good. I, I was like, I thought we would. Now we're in a really nice position. Because I can spam all these moves with the Sun and Celestia might have Rock Slot, uh, Wide Guard. And if it does, you know what? You got me. You got me. If you do, you got me. But let me show you some more of these just horrifying figures. Um, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Rage Powder. Ooh, that's cute. That's not gonna do anything. Heat Wave, please hit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take, I'm not happy, but I'll take it. Look at this just terrifying Umbreon. Look, look at this, this thing. Look at, look at the face. Like, it, it's not even, it doesn't even have eyes. Some of them aren't, they're not, well, I'll say it, they're bad. They're straight up bad. Okay, tell me, all right, I actually found, so I actually found Blaziken in the set. So you tell me how in good faith you get from Blaziken to Mega Blaziken. Like this one's actually kind of close. This one's not even close. I'm so bothered by it. And I felt like I'm gonna get a refund. It was like four dollars. It's not even worth my time. Tapu Coco. Whoo, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, gonna keep doing my thing. If Heat Wave would hit, it would knock out. If it would hit, so yes, this is why I rock slid here as well, to cover the Charizard switch. So I think I'm in a pretty good position here. I just need. Ugh. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Fine. Just please hit the rock slide. Please hit the rock slide. <laughs> nice special attack rise, too. Okay, we hit the rock slide. Alright, it's game over. This, this game was clean. This game was very clean. And again. Not to sound condescending, our opponent was 14, 60, whatever. But the team was a good team. I think it just, uh, you know, that Lycanroc uh, Tarantar lead was just uh, throwing a lot of pressure. My opponent felt pressure to, to protect the Coco. And then uh, I just got into a position where I could spam spread moves. And, you know, the, that's the cool thing about, like, Lycanroc Tyranitar with the Blacephalon. Because you, you can abuse weather if they change it on you. Let's see here. Uh, Amoongus. I, I, normally I wouldn't want to reveal information, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna. Why not? Why not? Yeah, let's say. Match is over. It's fine. Uh, looking at these uh, 
He's, it's like, okay, some of these aren't bad. All right, I'll show you a good one. Okay, so Licky Licky, it's not bad. I mean, it's not super great, but it's not bad. I mean, the, the signal on the stomach is wrong, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, not, not terrible, not, not bad. Staryu is completely the wrong color. That's, and, uh, and also, it's the same on both sides, so that's not right. Not at all. Well, that, well, they probably just pressed two pieces together, the same thing, and it's cheaper. Um, you know, so obviously quality craftsmanship is not the focus here. Let's get another battle. God, I have so many of these, and they're so bad. And I can't do anything with them. They're just the worst. Metagross is interesting. Metagross isn't half bad. Not, not half bad. Not terrible. Not good. Not bad. Torkoal is like purple. Torkoal is straight up purple, purple turtle. I'm having fun with this. Okay, uh, I recognize this team. Magunamu uh, here with uh, that team that won the Japanese in national chip. I, I don't know. But yeah, Mega Gallade. Question here is, so you usually lead Gallade and Milotic, and against this you probably would want to. Do I want to... Tricky, 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 tricky. Because my Lodic is going to be annoying. I'm thinking that Metagross Lele could be good. I don't think Lycanroc Tyranitar is super great, actually. I think this is a fine lead. I'll bring the Blaseph, because I think it's the best. And then our own Milotic could be good. Actually, Tyranitar might be nice. Tyranitar is actually probably really good. If I can get rid of certain threats, Tyranitar is probably really good. The uh, Incineroar, I don't think you'd bring Incineroar against me. But if you did, it would actually be really good here because I'm not bringing my Lodic. I'm hoping you don't bring it because I have my Lodic. Um, because otherwise, I would definitely want my Lodic. Uh, yeah, it'd be a little annoying to deal with. I mean, I do have Stomping Tantrum, but it's still just annoying to deal with. So, Lele Metagross here, I think, will be nice. I think it'll be a really nice little lead here. Gallade Milotic. Okay, that's lovely. Because Gallade's not going to want to do anything to um, uh, this. It's going to struggle against this. Mega, Gall Mega Gallade's what, like? 110 or 115? I don't remember how fast it is, but I'll tell you what, it don't matter. It don't matter. I could Psyching Z. I could also Z Ally Switch, and I'm tempted to do that because what's what's gonna come? What Coco's gonna come in probably? No, you, you, you probably don't even have that. You're not real. Um, yeah, I kind of want to just throw up a. Uh, a psychic there. You might protect, that's fine. And I'll, I'll throw up a Zen Headbutt. You know, if you switch an Incineroar, it's okay. I don't want to burn a Z move. Yeah, I don't want to burn a Z move on. Yeah, on that. So, probably protecting your Gallade, which is. Okay, you, and you did bring Incineroar. You know, interesting choice. So, if you, don't, if you did this, you probably didn't even bring. Tapu Koko, you probably brought Tapu Boo to deal with my my Lodic. Galley protects. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, because now I can... I'm going to use the ally switch. Just because I kind of want to style. And, uh, and I'm going to Zen Headbutt the crap out of this uh, Galley. And next turn, I'll double into Incineroar with a Stomping Tantrum and a... What's it called? But I want this damage. Aegis Slash. Let's just hopefully do something. Incineroar has Protect. I forgot it has Protect. Okay, so you didn't even bring Bulu. Very interesting. So this is a bit of a waste. But what this means is that if I can get rid of, of uh, Incineroar... We're probably in good good position here. 
And, and, the, and the good thing here, actually, is that because I was the ally switched, I'll be able to... My, my lady's going to be faster. I'll be able to chip the Incineroar with a Moonblast and then Stomp the Tantrum. And now my opponent has to deal with these mind games. And quite frankly, I'm very excited. And I will Moonblast. Incineroar just protected. I think this is really free damage. I don't see anything that comes in on this. Okay, so this should hopefully do about 25 to 30. And this Stomping... That, okay, that's perfect. This Stomping Tantrum should take it out. Good. Well, Cephalon comes in now and has a much better time. Because we can deal with the Aegislash a lot better. We have Shadow Ball, which is going to be really nice. We have Heat Wave. Ghost DMZ. Okay. Now, if that's into Metagross, I'd actually be okay with this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost DMZ. Never ending nightmare. Fair enough. But who'd you do it into? That's the question. God, that animation takes forever. Oh, that's... I don't like that as much. I don't like that as much. Actually, I... Okay, look at these figures again. I think the best one... So, there's a couple of really good ones. And it's just... I don't think it's because they're necessarily... They put time and effort into it. It's just because it would be hard to screw up. The Axe is pretty good. Like, let me ask you a question. Axe is pretty decent. And then, of all Pokemon, Wobbuffet is incredible. Look how good that Wobbuffet looks. Minus the tail doesn't have a face. But that, I can live with that. I can live with that. You know, I bring him to Slephalon, and it's just... Uh... So, looking at this, uh, Tyranitar actually wasn't that useful. But, mm, whatever. My little chick. So we are going to throw up a Heat Wave and a Zen Headbutt and just hope that that's enough damage. I don't know if it will be, but this Eagle Slash is not going to have Wide Guard it. I, I'm pretty sure it does not have Wide Guard. I don't remember. Yeah, King Shield. That's fine. I will be able to Stomping Tantrum that next turn. And I, and I could have Shadow Ball, but in the event that it did attack, I want to have this chip damage on my, lo my Lodico Foy. Okay, well that's terrible. Now I need a... A flinch. <laughs> yeah, I needed the chip damage. Ooh, it worked out. And it's not... It's not Barry. It's not Barry. I don't want to miss his Zen Headbutt either. So. I'm going to stomp and tantrum because I just... I really don't want to miss. And in the event that this knocks out, Stomping Tantrum should hopefully go into Aegislash. Okay, put it... Alright, that's fine. Really want this Heat Wave to hit and knock out. Come on, Blacephalon. Oh my god, I have literally the worst luck. I could not get less lucky. How many, how many of these attacks have I missed in this episode? It's insane. That's into Blacephalon for sure. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That makes me sad. Yeah, that's really that really sucks. Oh man, that sucks. That's terrible. That's so bad. Okay. Okay. It's a question of does Aegislash slash King Shield? I don't think it does. If it does... You know, I've already missed enough moves. Why not? Is Galley coming in? Probably not. Am I going to Assurance into that slot? Is it, if I knock out my Lodic and then Aegis slash King Shields, I'm going to lose all my stuff. But I, Tyran I, I might as well because Tyranitar... Even a minus two will still do a lot of damage to Aegislash. Okay. Okay. So I, I should have protected there, probably. But worst case scenario, I miss a Zen Head, but I'll still knock out my Lodic. Okay, that's fine. So we are going to take a minus two here, which is not super great. But we should still be fine. We should 
still be fine. We'll still be okay. Because I don't see how Gallade knocks out Mega Metaros. So this game should have already been over if we hit our moves. Um, but we didn't, so... And still, even at minus two, a 120 base Assurance will do a lot of damage to Aegislash. And if Gallade wants to close combat to Ranatar, it's gonna... It's gonna lower its stats. So there's that. Wish I knew how fast Mega Galley was, but I don't. Really don't. Okay, Aegis Slash here. He's not going for a King Shield, which I think he should be. Close combat into. Okay. Alright. Oh, man. That's not good. Because now we're just going to get knocked out of the Shadow Ball, yeah. Alright. Stomp and Cantor didn't take out. God, it sucks. It sucks so bad. We should have won that game. That's ridiculous. Miss, miss two heat waves in a row. I'm a sad panda. What a bomber, man. Because literally, we, we hit either of those heat waves, the game's over. Because my could have been knocked out on that turn that we hit, we heat waves that headbutt. Or Egg Slash would have been knocked out before. We wouldn't have been able to take out our Blacephalon or Metagross. Like, we hit either of those heat waves and we win. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. We should have won that. We were robbed. And I don't even have a consolation prize because I got these ghetto Pokemon figures here. Like, that, what's, is that my consolation prize? It's not, it's not enough. I mean, granted, I have a Pikachu in a top hat and a cane, but like, it's just not enough. It's never enough. But on that note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss any future videos because if you don't wanna miss high flying Mega Blaziken action like this, and uh, have yourselves a great day. And I hope to see you back next time for some more Ladder Up.